11, too many people have been dying from large blood clots in the lungs because treatments just haven't been strong enough to keep them alive. But a new technology is now saving hundreds of patients, and the Detroit Medical Center is using it to blast those big blood clots. 7 Chief Health Editor Dr. Parthenandi is here now to tell us how it works and who this is helping. Yeah, Carolyn, see, we're talking about pulmonary embolism. You know, what happens is if a blood clot is found early, it's typically small enough to treat the blood thinner. But if the clot grows too large, it's tough to stop. Until now, the heart hospital at the DMC is using a cutting-edge technique, and a retired science teacher is alive today because of the program known as Clot Busters. Charles Pierce, a humble photographer passionate about capturing beauty in the world. Charles and his wife Diane spent years discovering nature's rare gems and adding them to their website, mishwildflowers.com. But life wasn't always such a pretty picture. Eight years ago, Charles and Diane lost their son, Charles Jr., to a devastating blood clot. I mean, my brother has this uh, condition where the blood clots real fast. I have it, and I think my son had it. The student at Ferris State University passed away at home in Carson City, north of Lansing. He had a head cold, at least he thought it was a head cold. While his parents were on a wildflower mission. You don't really get over it. You learn to deal with it. They raced home from Mackinac City. It, this can't possibly be happening. Um, someone made a mistake type drive. Tragedy nearly struck twice last November when Charles almost died. I got to the point where I could not put any weight on that leg at all. It began with severe pain in his right leg. He suffered from breathing trouble, a failing heart, and a large pulmonary embolism. Diane and their youngest son, Joshua, were terrified. When you had this and this feeling of doom, you were worried that the same thing was going to happen to you, weren't you? Oh, I was positive that I was going the same way he went. That it was only a matter of a few hours at the best. Rescuers rushed Charles from one hospital to the Detroit Medical Center. Most patients that have a massive pulmonary embolism don't make it to the hospital because most of them die before they get to the hospital. Home to a new life-saving program, known as clot busters. It's a game changer. Dr. Mahar Elder used a two-fold attack to save Charles' life. It's actually a brand new procedure, state-of-the-art technology, and it goes up to the lungs, and as it goes to the lungs, it sits there in a pulsatile uh, ultrasound, so that it dissolves the clot. An ECOS ultrasound device blasted the blood clot to smithereens. And it allows a medication to penetrate the clot and dissolve it. And an RP impella pump saved his right ventricle. It's bitter and sweet. It's very sweet that under normal circumstances, had Charles gone anywhere else, he would not have survived. And he's very fortunate to have the extra time. The bitter aspect of it is that I wish that his son had the same opportunity. Today, Charles, the humble photographer, finds himself on the other side of the lens with a new focus. When I see Dr. Elder, I feel very humble. It's like he's giving me a second chance at life. He no longer takes anything for granted. I think this experience has made us even closer yes. as a family. And he always stops to smell the wood lilies, calypsos, and any other flower he can find, because to Charles, life is truly beautiful. Mm. It's amazing. Amazing story. You know, Dr. Elder says the DMC is the first hospital in Michigan to use a comprehensive blood uh, clot uh, buster program to treat massive pulmonary embolism. Now, and you got to keep in mind, this condition can mimic a heart attack, and anyone is at risk, even if you're in perfect health. Now, some symptoms include swelling and pain in your leg, shortness of breath, can have ch uh, sharp chest pain, and progressive sweating. If you have any of these symptoms, it's important to get to your doctor or, or medical center right away. It's important. Now, Dr. Nanda, can you be tested? Because both his son had this and he had this. And that's the thing, you know, we talked later about it, that he had a genetic genetic problem, and so all, a lot of his family members got tested afterwards. But it was, it was almost tragic that he would have the same fate as his son. But because he went to the DMC, I think his, he was transferred there, they were able to save his life. Amazing. All right, Dr. Nanny, thank you. Hey, my pleasure.